Hi everyone, welcome back to All Great Books. I'm Ellie. Today it is time to do another one of my books before the end of the year type videos. I did one of these, I think it was in June or July, and I've read a decent amount of the books on that list. Now that we're kind of coming to the actual end of the year, made another list. I did this last year went a little bit out of control and uh, didn't read most of them. So this year, dialed it back, been a little bit more reasonable, I think. Uh, I'm also filming this a few weeks ahead of when it, this video is going up, so I'm hoping that I will have gotten through some of these, hopefully. <laughs> And uh, so what I've done is I've picked two books from the sort of four genres slash readerships uh, that I mostly have on my shelves, excluding historical romance because I know I'm going to read them. I don't need to put them on a list. I'm fine. So uh, I've gone for nonfiction classics, adult and YA. And I've got a couple of different books in there. Let's get started. We're going to start with nonfiction because these were both in my nonfiction November TBR, and thus I am hoping I have started them. <laughs> uh, so I have A Field Guide to Getting Lost by Rebecca Solnit. Nice and short one. My plan with these types of videos and when I do to do lists and anything like that is to always book, pick something that I know I'm going to finish that I can do really quickly and then will make me feel better if I don't get through some of the others. Yes, Percy, I know it's windy outside. Percy is not a fan of wind or rain and it is both of those things today. But yes, nice quick one, should get through it. Uh, and then I, I have Neurotrans by Steve Silverman, which is the exact opposite. But I think if I put it on this list, I will finally uh, get to it. I will dedicate more time to it. It's still October as I'm filming this, hoping to start this one uh, in the next few days so that I will have, I will start at it and that's a step. Um, it's a step closer to being done. So this one's been on my shelf for a really long time. Need to get to it. Uh, let's move on to classics. Uh, this one is one that might change. Uh, so first up, I went with The Collected Poems of Sylvia Plath, which I started reading quite a while ago, and I'm 80 pages in. Uh, I was, I've been reading it like kind of year by year, and then, you know, taking quite, quite the break. <laughs> So like a couple of days I will read all the books and up to 1958. I'll read all the poems in that year over a few days and then I've been giving it like two to three weeks before I read any others. Um, but yes, I really want to get through this because uh, again I've had this on my shelf for a really long time and I just want to, I just want to read them and you know, I've read a lot of them before but just the idea of of having read them all sounds good to me. And I have quite a few of these like collected poems of different poets that I'm trying to work through and yes, Plath is, is the one that I'm gonna start with. Uh, and then I also have The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. So the thing with this one is that I, I think I'd like to listen to it as an audiobook um, but I haven't really found one that I like. Uh, if you happen to know of one, please let me know. Um, I've just kind of been sampling them on Audible and um, I have a couple of like services that I pay for, so if anyone knows of any that are good, please let me know. Um, I did start this one when I bought this in like 2013. And I think I made it like a, a decent like 120 pages into it. I, don't, I have no memories of it though, so <laughs> I, um, well, I'm definitely going to start from the start, but also I think that I, I need an audiobook to help me through with some of these classics, because 
I pick up on things that I don't necessarily pick up on when I'm reading. Uh, it's a different reading experience than reading a non-fiction or reading a YA or even a, an adult for me. So that's what I think I'm going to do. And that one might be one that I switch out if I can't find an audiobook. I have a couple of other classics that I might pick up instead of that one. Let's move on to adult. I have Half Blood Blues by S.E. By Ugan. I read Washington Black last August, I think it was, and loved it. One of the best books I read last year. And I, I bought this one pretty quickly after that. And I just really want to get to this one. It's not super thick. I think I can do it. I also have an audiobook of this on Scribed, so I might listen and read. And then, of course, had to throw in some Australian lit. And I went with Below Deck by Sophie Hardcastle. I bought this one back in, I think it was like March. <laughs> I haven't picked it up. Um, this is also one that I put on my spring TBR. She's a post I did as um, part of Top Ten Tuesday on my blog, which I'll link below. And uh, yes, so I'm putting this one on this list as well, so that then I, it's like two birds, one stone. So. And then on to YA. Um, first up, of course, I haven't got to Loveless yet by Alice Oseman. I pre-ordered this one, had it ready to go, and then I decided that I wanted to hold off on reading this when it arrived because I was doing an assignment and I had all these other books that I had to read and that just hasn't stopped. <laughs> There's still been all these things I need to read so if I put it on a list of books I need to read I will allow myself to read it. So. I'm very excited for this one. Huge fan of Alice Oseman. I have been ever since Solitaire. Her first book came out in like 2014, 2015. So yes, very excited for this. And then this one, uh, I'm counting, but this will be a reread for me, uh, which is Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. I just read allegedly in October which was her first book and this is her next book and then I own her next two books and I already wanted to reread this so I kind of have decided that I'm going to read them in order now so this is my next one up so yes will not take anything off my TBR because it is a reread but I will hopefully read the other Tiffany D Jackson books after this. So it's kind of one of those books that works towards getting other things off my TBR. Almost like reading a series, but it's all the one author and not related in any way. So yeah, those are the books I want to read by the end of 2020. I think this is a much more doable list than the ones that I picked last year. And uh, it's getting very windy outside. So I think I'm going to curl up with a book, maybe one of these, maybe something else, and uh, read for the rest of today. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!